Hello, I'm Muhammad Yunus. I'm talking to you from Bangladesh. First, my greetings on this World Habitat Day. I'm very happy that uh, we have an opportunity to work together with the UN Habitat through our uh, organization, UNUS Environment Hub. We are very happy with our work with the WisteWise partnership. This is just a small piece of the big problem that we have to face right now. Uh, but we must try. Everyone has to try even the even as smallest way possible. So the beginning has to be made. Accumulation of those small things can become very, very large. That's what uh, we should be aiming at. And when we talk about the global warming, I try to give an image of a burning house. I said, we are living in a burning house. All people in the world living in our burning house, the earth. And inside that burning house, we are having celebrations. We are having parties, enjoyment of our economic successes, high growth rates, prosperities, even uh, technological achievements, many things to celebrate. And we are having fun. We are having so much enjoyment inside of it. Seeing that fun, seeing that enjoyment, we immediately recognize that we are not seeing what, what is happening outside the house. The house itself is burning. And very soon, everything that we are doing inside will be totally meaningless because all burnt out. And that's what IPCC report is saying. IPCC report 2021 just came out. It's saying that we are in big, big danger. They highlight the urgency of it, immediacy of it. We have to act, we have to take actions to make a world free from global warming. We have to create a world of zero net carbon emission so that we neutralize everything. We are not burning, we are sustainable, and that's what we should be doing. What IPCC report is saying, that we'll be heading for 1.5 degrees Celsius within 20 years. Either we'll reach that point, 1.5 degrees Celsius, or we'll overshoot that go beyond it within these 20 years. That's very bad news. We have to make all our efforts to make sure that it doesn't happen. We stay away from 1.5 degrees Celsius because this is the yellow zone of the global warming. After we reach the 1.5 degrees Celsius, we reach the red zone. We don't want to get into the red zone. The red zone would be something that we cannot come back again. We cannot, uh, even if you try our try our best, it will be extremely difficult to make this planet livable. That's where we are right now. So our focus is to create that uh, uh, zero net carbon emission. And it's possible through actions, actions that we all know. Funny thing is, we know how to achieve zero net carbon emission. We know everything. Okay? All the steps are known. Simply, we are not doing it. Because these are decisions which are not very uh, not very um, enjoyable to many of us. It's not the question of making it enjoyable. Even if it's a hard work, it's a question of survival. We have to survive. And uh, we have been saying that uh, this world may not be uh, a, a very welcoming world for our next generation. Because next generation will face all the difficulties that we are now, uh, scientists are telling us. And, and legitimately, our young generation is blaming us, the older generation, that we have, we have stolen their future. Now, if our children are accusing us of that, uh, we are stealing their future. What about our grandchildren? What would they say? They would say they have no future at all, right from the beginning, right from the very birth. So that's not the direction we wanted to go. So we want to take action. That's where the social business comes. And we have been talking about and engaging everything in the social business, creating social business to solve uh, environmental problems. Uh, all the things that you can do, make them in small pieces and turn into a business model, but a social business model, meaning we make it sustainable. Uh, money that is spent, money that we invest in the business comes back. It solves the problem 
but the money comes back. Then we can reinvest that money. We can, the business itself can grow. Social business simply means we are, we are doing this business not to make money, but to solve people's problems or the global problem like uh, uh, global warming. And that's what we do. So this is the core of our initiative and strategy that we have. And we, are all, we have also launched something very interesting for you. Uh, we call it uh, Three Zero Clubs. We're inviting young people uh, of the age from 12 year old to 35 year old. Five of them can get together. One of the young person can take initiative, invite four other friends, former five members, Three Zero Club. Their whole uh, dedication, commitment would be to create a Three Zero World. And number one zero is zero net carbon emission. Number two, make it uh, con wealth concentration free so that the wealth and people live together, not run away from each other. And number zero, number three, will create a world of zero unemployment by unleashing the power of entrepreneurship in all of us. So I invite you to create those uh, three zero clubs if you fall into the um, age group. If not, you invite others, your friends, your sis brothers, your sisters, uh, your uh, schoolmates, uh, whoever who will be within that age. What we're trying to do, make this a network of young people, five member, three zero clubs forming globally so that we can start doing small things globally and commit ourselves to make sure we create the world a three zero world. Good luck. Thank you very much. Again, greetings on the World Habitat Day.